Guys, the new update's finally here. Disclaimer, this video is starting from full fermento. If you don't have it already, then check out my original garden guide. The new update has added hundreds of obtainable farming fortune, and this video will go over how to get the fortune. Starting off at the Anita shop, there are four new items. They're the personal best, which I've already bought, and the Anita talisman ring and artifact. So the personal best upgrade, it's normally right here. Uh, it adds fortune based on how well you've performed in certain contests, and it will only take contests which have been done after the update as your personal best. So as you can see, just for this wheat contest, I'm getting an additional 35 wheat fortune. The Anita Talisman gives fortune for crops and contests, and this fortune only affects one of the three contests available, and it will show a fortune symbol next to the crop that it is affecting. Next are the new NPCs, Philip and Pamela. These NPCs will give you a short little quest line that teaches you about pests and vacuums. Once you're done with the quest, head over to the desk and buy the first upgrade of the vacuum, which is going to be the turbo vacuum. This allows you to left click and see where the nearest pest is. It's really convenient. So pests don't only give fortune when you turn them into Philip. I have three in my vacuum right now. I could turn them in and get 10 fortune per, giving me 30 farming fortune for uh, 30 minutes. They also give fortune for bestiary. So like as you see for the mites here, for example, I'm bestiary five, so I'm getting two farming fortune. It's 0.4 per. As you can see, fly, I've only killed one, so I'm getting 0.4 farming fortune for it. In total, just this bestiary is giving me eight free fortune. With turning pests in to fill up to get fortune. I'd recommend saving pests until a contest and then dumping them all out for a contest. The fortune will last the entire contest and it's going to help you place a lot higher. So there are 10 different kinds of pests. The fly, cricket, lotus, rat, mosquito, earthworm, mite, moth, slug, and beetle. Another item that you need is the sprayinator and this allows you to spray plots with certain materials depending on the kind of pests you want to attract. So flies and beetles are attracted to dung. Crickets and moths are attracted to honey jars. Locusts and slugs are attracted to plant matter. Rats and mites are attracted to tasty cheese. And mosquitoes and earthworms are attracted to compost. When you spray a plot, you will have a higher chance of spawning that kind of pest. See how I sprayed this with tasty cheese? I have the selected material of tasty cheese and that will give me a higher chance of spawning rats and mites. I've been spraying my plots consistently with these and I'm at seven mites and four rats, which is noticeably higher than any other kinds of pests. If you get rare materials like honey jars, for example, these are used in the sprayinator as well. You, you want to build a one crop infinite farm, spray that one crop plot and then stay in it the entire time while you farm. And now for what the actual pests drop. Crickets drop something called a chirping stereo. As you can see right here, damn, <laughs> those been 110 mil. It's pretty rare. Uh, it's also really good. So this has multiple uses. The first use is it it allows you to get the maximum rarity vacuum. And the second use is that you could use vinyls. I'll talk more about this later. Vinyls basically give you a better chance of spawning that kind of pest. So crickets are very important. Next are mosquitoes. Mosquitoes drop a reforge called clipped wings. This is the best reforge that you can get for vacuums. It doubles your vacuum damage, which is really convenient. Mites drop a rare accessory called the atmospheric filter. So as you can see, it's a rare accessory loading for like 100 mil again. And I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It depends on the season that Skyblock is currently in to give you that sort of perk. So it can either give fortune, wisdom, it can make pests spawn more often or give copper. Rats are very simple. They just drop the rat pet. Earthworms drop a book that gives 10 damage to your vacuum per book up to five. Think of it kind of like hot potato books for your vacuum. The moths drop something called wriggling larva and this gives you pest chance and you can consume up to five. They are similar to metaphysical serum and the burgers from the rift. It's basically just like profile stats and you can consume up to five. Locust drops Sunder 6, which is obviously just an upgrade of Sunder 5. Similar to Harvesting 6, it just it's just for axes. Beetles are another very important pest. They drop a enchant to armor called Pest Terminator. And it should be on screen right now. It gives farming fortune and pest chance uh, per level. It goes up to five on each armor piece. So in total to max it out, you need 64 books. Next is slugs. Slugs drop the either epic or legendary slug pet. As you can see here, here's the legendary. So this is not only completely insane for slug fishing, obviously it basically doubles catch time for slugfish. It's also really good for spawning pests. It's still worse than elephant and mushroom cow, but because of the pest chance, if you're going for pests, slug is going to be your best bet. And lastly, the most useless of them all, the fly. This pet drops a reforge called Beady Eyes. Beady Eyes 
is just a worse reforge than clipped wings so flies just suck so lastly with pets is that each of them have a specific vinyl that they drop and these vinyls you'll use them in the chirping stereo to have a higher chance of spawning that specific pet so i have a mite vinyl and if I use the, if I had a chirping stereo and I used this, I'd have a higher chance of spawning in mites. So as you can see here, it says plus 896 for this rare drop that this guy got. Farming fortune in this update acts as your magic find. So the more farming fortune you have, the higher chance you have of dropping rare pest drops that you want. So another big change that was made this update is the new farming contest brackets. So there's now bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Bronze is top 60%, silver is 30%, gold is 10%, platinum is 5%, and diamond is 2%. All of the previous tiers being bronze, silver, and gold give the same rewards. Platinum now gives a gold and a bronze medal as well as 30 tickets, and diamond gives a gold medal and a silver medal as well as 35 tickets. This update added a new visitor called Maeve, I think that's how you pronounce it. She gives a potion that gives 50 fortune for 25 minutes when you complete her offer. And finally, the admins have nerfed crop milestones, making Max and Garden much easier. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys sticking a lot later. Gang, gang, represent, uh, shout out, Summers. <laughs> <laughs> uh.